it's finally time to start looking at a Predator game. This is Predator Concrete Jungle, came out for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox in 2005. Developed by Eurocom, which did a whole bunch of licensed games. We've already seen some of their work. They worked on Nightfire, the James Bond game. They've done further James Bond games off into the future. Uh, actually, James Bond was the game that unfortunately ended up closing the company. Uh, but this is several years ahead of that. This is Predator Concrete Jungle. Uh, I'd say this is recommended to me, but I can't remember if it was recommended in a positive light or a negative light. Um, we're going to have to jump into training because I'm kind of going in blind, but uh, I will say I've seen at least the movies. But as it was pointed out to me previously, just because I've seen the movie doesn't mean I'm going to understand anything, uh, as my Jurassic Park video made me realise. So first things first, I turned off inverted controls and the camera is going the wrong way. Up's fine, but that's totally wrong. Oh, so third person, invert, horizontal, I guess. That's more like it. When you hit these hint markers, they will give you a hint. Brilliant, thank you. Whoa, Jesus Christ, you can jump high. Alright, I'm into that. Oh, that's... <laughs> this is going to go well. I forget Predator can jump really high. Move the... I'm not hanging from a ledge. Okay. So R2 is going to put me into a... Hanging off a ledge. Jesus. That's a certain I so blah, 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 blah. What are these surfaces you speak of? <laughs> ah. Now I see there's actually a uh, some sort of indicator. Oh, I can't see it. Pfft. Yeah, you tore that open. This doesn't... No, I think the, the camera needs con inverting both ways. Am I broken? What? Okay. How do you want me to get up there then? Can I gecko crawl up up things? Nope. Guys, jumping's <laughs> do me eyes in. Can I jump? I must have to jump up this. There we go. What? Do I have to press R2 or something? No? What? So I can climb up it, but I can't climb on top of it. Is that what you're telling me? What? Oh! Now you choose to work. Oh god, this platforming. Wow. Jesus. Okay, so how do you want me to get over there then? I could f try and jump from. F no chance. See, that just bounces me off the walls. So that's not useful. Oh, that, that worked. Whatever I just did then. Okay, so I can strafe and jump. Yeah, I figured that one out. Some Mirror's Edge-esque triangle jumping. Can 
Can I... Can I backflip off the... Oh my god, this is doing my head in. <laughs> this is not a good start. Jump towards the wall at an angle and then jump again and make it. Yeah, okay, wall bounce. So it wants me to. Pfft, right, okay. These buttons are gonna. How many buttons are there gonna be for platforming? This camera's ropey as well. Okay, I climbed up a thing. Let's try and jump onto something without it falling over. Right. Like that. Yep. Training complete! Hooray! Why would you want to resume? Oh, I found the exit. I'm going to have a, another wander around the training area. Well. If the platforming... Is that complicated? How is the combat going to be? Oh, it's going to have to save every single time as well, isn't it? Gadget training. I've just noticed the bottom one's gadget training. Does the Predator have gadgets? They've got technology, but... Okay. Got my adamantium claws. Awesome. That's a lot of text. Plasma caster. Uh, L1's... So L1's lock on then. That circle appears to be attacked. Okay. Oh, weird. So L2 will put you in a first person mode, but you have to use the left analog stick to move it around. So you can't move. <laughs> okay. So that was a waste of time. Gadget training? This tile scheme really reminds me of Batman Arkham Asylum. Maybe that's where they nicked it from. Who knows? Or maybe it's such an obvious thing that everyone's done it and I'm just drawing correlation where there needn't be one. Okay. Alright. You can see me, I'm see through. Right, okay. Demo vision, neurovision, tech vision. Oh, you have to be in the first person to see it. Wow, yeah, there you go. That's what you want. I had three different view modes. How do I get to those? Oh, I can do the view mode in. Yes. Play the entire game like this. Alright, I'm back on board. Alright, let's see the actual game. There's something about these Fox games, that, or Fox movies, that just don't get good games. Like the Die Hard series, that very rarely did they actually turn out to be any good. Alien, there's a lot of those that aren't very good. Predator especially. I can't think of a... Other than the Rebellion... Back then, um, no early PC... Newspapers AVP games. The Indians even had legends about it going back centuries. Stories of an invisible killer 
A demon who traveled with the comets returning in the hottest. This does look quite grainy for a uh, 2005 PS2 game. And it was hot that night in New York City. The hottest midsummer ever recorded. When Bruno Borgia, god of gangsters, died. God of gangsters. It's a good point. What this uh looking this up it seems to have a lot of reference points. It's not certainly not the first movie. This to me looks a lot like Predator 2, which is not a good film. And not something I need uh reminding of to be honest. Unless you're gonna put Danny Glover in it, and then I'll be interested. Okay. So going in here. <laughs> you really think you're gonna fight a predator? Wait, the predator was a, an unstoppable killing machine. Why am I just hacking away at people? I'm the goddamn predator. I'm not Wolverine. Jesus Christ, Arnold Schwarzenegger couldn't destroy the Predator with particularly ease. Okay, I can do that. That execution system doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm just screwing up the timing of it. Well, the predator seems detailed enough, but yeah, like the, the little skull shows up. Ah, there we go. Triangle's a much better weapon. It's like Kalik in Soul Calibur. Just whack him with a big stick. Oh, I have to hit him from the back to get the execution. Stop shooting at me. Don't you know who I am? This combat feels very floaty. It doesn't feel... You'd expect a game like this to feel like the Punisher. To feel weighty and have a real heft to it. It feels very fast and floaty. And I guess the Predator is quick, so that that is fair enough, but I feel like the combat should have more heft to it. To be as violent as it is, it should feel like it's, you know, you should feel the weight of the violence. I can't be asked to fight these guys. There's no point. Oh, it's platformings. I un I kind of understand why they've got platforming because it's it is the predator. Uh, okay, I'll go down here then. Please don't tell me that's the Irish boss. He's got a little green hat on. What? <laughs> what? Well, that's unpleasant. Not since Robbie Williams rock DJ have we seen such a horrendous mass of muscle and no skin. Alternate costume. I hope I can look at the Irish boss now. Put a little green hat on. I need to know what the alternate... I bet I can't do it outside of a mission, can I? Nope. Get back to my ship and my poochie. 
go back to my home planet. Oh no. I screwed that jump up. So, I was hoping you could just triangle jump between the walls and get up super high, but the platforming seems too finicky for that. What? Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, Jesus! Oh, good, some cheap Irish accents, that'll help. No, no! Get up there! I'm gonna get up there. Not with ease, it would seem. Wait. Oh, so close. Oof. Am I just slightly too short of that goal? I climb up somewhere else? Can I go up there? No, it just didn't want me to go up there either. You know, the Predator kills a lot of things, so it seems what we should do is build a game around the platforming. Is this a pointless building? Is this another way around? Have oh, I just stumbled across? Yes. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, there's got to be a way to get up there. What, what did I do differently? I didn't do anything differently. I can tell I'm going to love the platforming. This tragedy of two worlds. This epic fall of rise of men and monsters. Epic, really? That's the word we're going for. And unnatural love. Kaboom! That's the Predator 2 spaceship. Maybe he's gonna give me a vintage musket. The devil had broken the laws of its own kind. It had made its presence known to its prey in a devastating and humiliating way. And worse, it had survived the exposure. We now know that these creatures are nomadic, bound by strict clan loyalties, unbreakable taboos. And they walk like robots. And then he went back to his home planet and we never saw him again, the end the end. The end.
So this pre-rendered CG looks okay. I think graphically it doesn't look particularly hot, but... The CG's got that weird thing where it, it kind of looks... In some ways looks a little bit... I don't want to say photorealistic, because that's, that's really not what this game's about, but... Looks believable, and then... Also, there's a lack of shadowing that just makes it look... Weird and false, but... Alright, that was the first level. I'm more confused now than I was when I put the disc in. I'm not going not gonna to lie. Now, I don't love the fact that it's going to chuck me out to the main menu every single level. That seems inconvenient. Now I want to look at my alternate costume. God, that was seven minutes. <laughs> That's not... They're all going to look like predators then, aren't they? But nothing simply ends. The events of that sweltering night in June sent ripples through time. Are we going back in the future now? Because in its long absence, we humans had dissected the hunting tools our devil dropped in its haste. And using what we learned, we made ourselves masters of a technology unknown on Earth. We created weapons of our own that we turned against the devils when next they came hunting in the hot season. So they sent it back to atone for the sins of its past and take from us what we had stolen. <laughs> the worst thing that the Earth could give do to a predator, a man with a goatee. A city of tomorrow overseen by computer intelligence, driven by advanced alien technology, and ruled by a dynasty of crime. What once was Nui City had blossomed into Neonopolis, city of light. Neonopolis. I thought Nui City was a bad name. 2030. So we're only 13 years in the future. See how much has changed. Well, they've got predators, so it's changed a bit. Now these shining city facades and mirrored walls of Neonopolis hide deep shadows of their own. We'll never know why the predator decided to target the servitors first. Perhaps in a downtown cult of sacred killers, with their savage devotion to gods of slaughter and magic, it recognized something all too familiar. A thing, Sam. The body of another man has been found here on the streets, flayed and mutilated. Police experts suspect a ritual motive for the crime. See? Didn't I tell you this was a sign? A sign from the lure of darkness. Message in blood from our father Zaraguin, the scorpion god. The lure sends us blood. Blood to make our turf sacred. Kinda sounds a little bit like Brian Blessed. Blood! Take up your blades! Put on your ghost suits! The enemy hides in the night! But the night belongs to Le Servitor! Le Servitor! Alright, okay. I'm totally lost. I have no idea what's going on. So the predators are coming back, and there's a cult on Earth. Uh, right. Okay. Because it's Neonopolis, everything is written in neon Japanese text, and they have health on the. the Proves their building. It's weird because you figure this game would be. Give it another year or two, this game would have been open world. Wait. She's got cloaking. Oh, 
I'll learn you for stealing my technology. Have they seriously hit me back with just a stick? Okay. I'm guessing I've got an objective. Up here. What? It's the problem with jumping so high is you can just jump over the platforms. say to flare victim when you first need to first take them to a hang oh right okay read the instructions that would be a key point so let me attack you and then figure out how to pick you up I need the controls because Context. You figured the context button would be the one. Oh, he's disappeared. Brilliant. Get back here! Alright, oh, the predator can't kill civilians. So, Who's my victim then? Have I misunderstood? Oh, it's one of the ones who've got a cloaking device. Can I restart? <laughs> restart level. I understand now. Eventually, you get there. They're all dressed up in like kiss makeup. Alright, there you go. There's the cloak. What? Am I stuck on something? No, oh, didn't mean to do that. Genuinely... Where's the button? Why is this gunfight happening out in the middle of the street? It's just gang warfare? Finally, use the square button properly this time. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to stop playing Predator Concrete Jungle right about now. This, uh... This game seems unfocused. I think the combat... seems weak. 
I don't really feel the uh, the power of being a predator. And the platforming is arguably worse. It's interesting though. It's you don't get very many predator only games. Like there's plenty of AVP sequels and games. But uh, yeah, you don't get many predator only games, so get marks for that, I guess, but I'm going to have to uh, consult with the person who recommended me this game and see if they thought it was terrible too, whether this was a very much a product of its time, whether this was like a prototype style game where, you know, people who played it at the time loved it and anybody who comes to it late just kind of looks at it and wonders, Crackdown's the same way, I suppose, kind of wonders why everybody was so excited about it. But yeah. That's uh, that's Predator Concrete Jungle. I need to go track down more uh, more Predator games.